Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and today, oh my god, you all better let the purists know because we're going to be using a tweaked truck, and I don't know if it's okay. It's probably not okay because last I checked, using tweaked trucks was not okay and overpowered and was ruining the game but it's okay because we're going to use it anyway so with that being said uh we're gonna go ahead and jump into the mods and honestly like i don't think using a tweaked truck ruins the game or is that like or is bad in any way i mean like if you want to have a pure in-game experience use the stock trucks but if you want to have fun with some of these tweaked models you can use those too now, with that being said, we're going to go to the mod browser and we're going to actually use the P16JBE. Now, the cool thing about the P16JBE is that it has some tire options that y'all may have seen on some other mod trucks that you guys have enjoyed in the past. Mainly the IX Wrecker, but they've also been in use on some other vehicles as well. Now, if we go to create, and we actually scroll down to where the P16 would be, We'll see that the oh also for for uh, for y'all in the in the uh, the comments that are gonna be like why haven't you shown the KRS Bandit yet? Because it's literally that it's just a it's it's kind of just I mean you could see a 3D model but it's kind of just a blob right now. And I've had some questions about like why haven't you used the KRS Bandit yet? Because it looks like that. That's why. So here is the P16 JBE. Now, as you'll notice right off the bat, the P16JBE has... Well, let me go ahead and swap over to Afternoon. It has double dual... Like, basically, actually, triple dualies. You got, you know, duels in the back and duels in the front as well. However, there are some tire options that will allow you to not, you know, not have the duels in the front if that's not something that, you, uh, that you're into. Now, you have all-wheel drive and dip lock enabled right off the bat, but you also only have, like, a very simple, basic four-speed gearbox uh, without adjustable uh, low ranges. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a full build. We're going to go up to the Westline V12 M900. We're going to do the JBE Custom Transmission. We're also going to look at the suspension options. Now, we have stock. We have raised, which bumps us up a little bit. We have the JBE suspension, which is about the same height as the normal raised suspension, but with more flex. And then we have the JBE Active 2, which is actually quite interesting because I'm not sure if it goes all that much higher than the normal raised suspension, but we'll potentially try it out later and we'll actually go into the, um, the, the garage through the mod menu and try it out that way. But we're going to go with the JBE uh, lifted suspension. And then we're going to go through the tire options. Now, the tire options, there are a lot. So basically, the tire sizes go all the way up to a 68 inch, which is gigantic. I mean, it's absolutely huge in terms of tires. And you have that in terms of like highway, all terrain, off road, just about whatever. Now, the all terrain tire options are interesting. But the mud tire options are even more interesting. So you have different sizes and different versions of uh, MSH 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, JBE TM1, TM2, and of course TMHS, which is the Tega tire. But there's a lot of different options here you can go through. You also have the quasi double mud tires and the quasi monster mud tires ranging from 61 inches in size to 68 inches in size. I believe either 68 if not a little bit higher let's go all the way down and see okay yeah so there's 66 which is already like freaking huge like it's absolutely gigantic as it sits right now but let's see let's run i think i'm gonna start off with the 68 inch quasi double mud tires and also in your chained options you actually have those same tires but with studs which is really really cool so now, let's go and throw a advanced heavy, no, autonomous winch. There we go, which is a heavy autonomous winch, which is ridiculous. And then we will do, let's see, spare wheel, spare wheel, and in cap spare as well, because why not? And a wedge cap with lights, and then frame out on wise, you have a lot. So you could do trunk repair supplies up top. And then you have a sideboard bed, which you could actually use on the back, which basically turns this thing into a, basically a tractor that has the ability to do flatbed work, essentially. Um, small roof rack on the hood to carry even more additional supplies, but I don't think I'm going to do that one because that one, uh, that one is kind of a little bit weird, I think, a little bit weird looking. 
Then you also have the 320 Heavy Crane, which will be super useful should you choose to go that route. You have the flatbed, the normal flatbed. You also have the normal sideboard, and the flatbed and the sideboard are doubled up for some reason. I'm not sure why. Also, the 3.8 Loading Crane, Saddle High, Small Fuel Carrier, and Maintainer Frame add-on. And that's going to be it. Now, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to go ahead and tell you all right now. There is a ton going on. But I'm going to go ahead and put the saddle high on it because we have a towing test I want to do. And now we're going to go to the visual customization. And I'm actually going to do this Pacific Sun Visor. And let's see. Front bumper wise, we got stock. We got reinforced. We got hinged. And we got heavy duty. I kind of dig the reinforced actually. Especially with that winch cable there on the front. Now, miscellaneous-wise, we've got LED fog lights on the front, which is kind of cool. Let's see. Double raised beacons, which I'll go with that. And I'm not too keen on any of the other options, like right off the... Ooh, searchlight? Yes, that's really cool, actually. Let's see. Short cap, heat shielded, stock... Wedge cap, so I guess you could do a wedge cap exhaust if you really wanted to. Flap cap and muzzle. I like the muzzle because it's a really clean look, but it also has that old school kind of flair to it. And then default wheel choice. I mean, that's basically all you get. And then, of course, you have a full range of colors to choose from. I'm really digging this orange. I also like the red and white. I think you've got a lot of... Wow! Oh my god, you've got a lot of color options with this thing. Dude, that's awesome. That's proper, like, red, white, and blue. That's legit. So you could do, God, you could do just about whatever you wanted on this thing. You've got, like, pretty much every color combo you could imagine or every color combo you could come up with. The red and white looks good as well. Um, so does the white and blue. Like, everything, everything on this thing looks looks pretty, pretty good, to be honest. Like, I don't think there's any option here that looks bad. That's for sure. Let's check the red and white. Eh... Uh, I'm not really fully feeling that. I dig this. I dig that. Okay, let's make sure there aren't any more. And it looks like there aren't. Hey, let's throw beans on the dash, boys. Oh my god, we've got like... I don't know why we have so many hearts right there. Let's see, probably because we bought a bunch in like testing ground mode. We'll throw... Actually, we'll throw the winter fresh in there. And then we'll do... Let's see, shut up and take my winch because this thing is going to be... Thrown out winches to a lot of people, I assume. Oh, oh, we have a spare tire in the passenger seat. That's right. I was like, why the heck can we not see? And then I was like, oh, that's why. All right, let's go ahead and leave the garage now. Look at this behemoth. Also, keep in mind, we have the top-notch engine and the, well, and the custom transmission. The custom transmission is definitely going to be... An interesting one to see how it works. Move a little bit further up. Ha! You could do scout trailers with it. That's really funny. The fact that it'll let you do scout trailers is hilarious. Could do that oil tanker uh, semi, which is basically a modified version of the 8-unit monster trailer. There's the 8-unit super heavy. Could do the 8-unit super heavy. Could just do the oil tanker. I mean, that's... That's gonna be a test of the thing, that's for sure. Dude! Oh my god! This thing is nuts! Wow! I don't know if this will actually be able to leave. Like, I don't know if it can actually fit out of the garage area. I mean, there's only one way to find out, sure, but... Nope! It's like, no leaving for you. All right. Remove. Thank you. Back to the P16 JBE. All right, we're going to have to actually hook up our trailer out here because it doesn't seem like the garage area is all that friendly to gigantic trailers, which it doesn't necessarily have to be friendly to gigantic trailers. Actually, I'm going to turn it around. we go back it up and we'll get back the other way not bad all right i'm gonna stop you right i'm gonna stop you right there i'm gonna stop you right there all right so let's see also let's do the active and see how much it actually adjusts oh not really all that much at all okay so i was wondering if it was gonna be similar to the like some of the other 
some of the other suspension options where it was like it would go way higher and i was curious if it was going to be like that and it looks like it's not actually so let's check out some of these trailers gooseneck eight coiled tubing heavy construction equipment oil refinery hmm let's see i think i'm gonna actually do the coiled tubing coiled tubing's a little different but i'm down to run it let's see how it is god it really angles the trailer up by a lot you know what though that's cool but this is cooler uh, yeah that's cool but this is cooler what an incredible thing like i don't think okay let's take a second to look at this thing because i don't think i've ever seen a truck and trailer setup that looks so perfectly matched you know what i'm saying like this setup is so perfectly matched it, it's like it's literally a match made in heaven right here like this truck and that trailer it it just looks so right it, it, it just looks so freaking right and i mean the size and the scale of this freaking truck it's so insane like it's so incredibly wild the actual scale of the thing i cannot believe it it's it's tremendous y'all it's absolutely tremendous and it definitely needs to be tried if you like the p16 but you're not the biggest fan of how it doesn't really have all that many options or you maybe don't like the way it performs in stock trim this is definitely definitely one to take a look at all right now for our first test i'm going to take it down here to the big hills this is going to be a little bit different from our normal round of testing out here at the summer proving grounds and that's because i feel like this is a very different type of vehicle and so it only makes sense to run it through some different types of tests. Nope, she ain't gonna stay and hide through there. And that's, I feel like that should be an answer to everybody that's gonna ask if it's OP or not, because I mean, it's still having to work. You know what I mean? It's not like it's just, you know, sailing through everything in high. I tried to put it in high and it stalled out. It was like, nope. Not for me. Now this wide footprint, especially in the front, really helps the stability though. Like, not that the P16 had a stability issue beforehand, but the stability has just been increased even more now. Let's do a bit of a hill climb here, see how she goes. I mean, it pulls. It really does pull, uh-oh started to stall out on me though will it crest that hill oh it's trying to with a tiny amount of winch assistance it'll probably be fine come on come on there it is not bad not bad look at that Oh my God, look at that thing. It's so insane. Oh my God. I love it though. Like, I love how wild it is. I love how over the top it is. I love how wild it is. It just, like, this is, these are the kinds of trucks that, you know, I feel like, you know, when you're, when you're 10, this is what you imagine a semi truck to be like, you know? And of course, I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to be like, No, I wanted a realistic semi because I only like things that are 110% realistic 110% of the time. But then again, to be fair, I mean, I feel like this wouldn't be completely out of the realm of realism to be made. I mean, yeah, it would take a lot of resources and a lot of money and a lot of determination, but you could probably make something like this, you know? And somebody may have at some point in the world... Well, trailer kind of getting up on its side there, but I'm not going to do the, the dips obstacle, but I am going to go straight out to the bridge. You know why? Because bridge jumps are, bridge jumps are like the best measurable statistic of any vehicle, right? 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 
Oh my god, it's so good though. It definitely takes the uh, takes this truck into a whole new realm for sure. And don't worry, we'll repair it before we get to the bridge jump. It's amazing to me how much damage you get from those little barriers or even like the traffic cones. Repair and refuel. All good to go. Won't get that clutch. Throw it in high so we can maintain a little bit of speed and then put it back in automatic mode because we're gonna need that. Come on. Holding sixth gear. Uh, I was gonna say, it's gonna wanna go, oh wow, it wanted to go all the way back to second. It wanted to go all the way back to first actually. That's, that's huge. I didn't figure it'd wanna go all the way back down. It's not like it doesn't have power. It's got a lot of power. Hello, wheel in passenger seat. All right, boys, here we go. It's bridge jump time, let's go. Picking up speed, come on! And over the jump! To be fair though, it kept the trailer attached. It kept the trailer attached and it made it out with very minimal damage. So you know what? I'm gonna call that a win. Now, if you guys enjoyed this truck test, then make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time.